Kampala Chief in a week and break and Lawrence Mugambi, Nigo to Mire Hamamacha. I am which has someone achieved no more than a mother come a year or see a match and I know Kwaba Wakili Ivaye Omoske Geoffrey Rigadi Gashagwa. Considering the immense public interest that this matter has generated and being the first of its kind in Kenya where the Deputy President of the Republic is being removed by process of imprisonment, it is my considered opinion that this matter deserves the input of a bench so as to pronounce itself on the process that is constitutionally compliant to serve as a benchmark for future undertakings of this nature. It is necessary for this citizenry of this country to know whether the current state of law allows adequate opportunity to participate meaningfully in the process of removal of their deputy president. There was also the question of whether the allegations subject to an impeachment should be circulated to the public or, or sorry, should be circulated to the public with or without the response of the person being impeached and if the absence of including the response that if, if the action of including the response compromises the public participation outcome by prejudicing the person subject to the impeachment process uh, through infringement of his rights to fair administrative action and the right to a fair hearing under Article 47 and 50 of the Constitution. These are substantial questions arising out of this impeachment process. The question whether the current parliament is properly constituted and thus incapable of carrying out the impeachment process in the light of Supreme Court Advisory Opinion No. 2 of 2012 was also highlighted. Finally, that notwithstanding the voting in terms of numbers in both the National Assembly and the Senate on the impeachment motion, if the jurisdiction of the court under Article 165.3 extends to interrogating the material relied upon under Article 45, under Article 145, so as to determine if the threshold to support the allegations was established either in the National Assembly or the Senate or both.